Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, you will see how we can able to add this UTM lat long in QGIS. Previously, we have seen how we can able to add this UTM file into ArcGIS in moment. Today, we'll see how we can able to add this file into QGIS. So it is very easy to add this. So first we'll save our UTM file. So I'm having this serial number, then UTM isting, UTM nothing, and this falls in UTM zone 45. So what we'll do, this Excel file will save into CSV file format. So this file I have already saved in CSV file format, but I will save again. So just click on this file option, and then there is a save as. Then we need to choose a folder where we want to save this file. So I will select this folder and I will save here as a CSV file format. Okay. So this file is already, I have saved in CSV file format. So I will just cancel this. Okay. So after saving this file in CSV file format, we just need to go to our QGIS and I will just take a, so this file we need to add into QGIS. So we already saved this as a CSV file format. So just click on the option. There is a layer option. Okay. In that there is a, there is add layer option is there in the add layer. There is a add delimited text layer option is there. Add delimited text layer. So from here, we need to choose our file where we have saved our file. So there is option to browse option is there. So just click on the browse. So this is my file, CSV file, same CSV file. Okay. So I'll just select this file and click on the open option is there. So now we can able to see this file is added CSV file and here automatically taking isting here. So we need to add latitude and longitude our X and Y here and need to select our UTM zone. So this falls in 45 UTM zone. So I will select a 45 UTM zone. Just click on the add option and click on the close. So now the same file we have added here. So to check whether it is for right location or not, we can just add a base map here. So we'll add here as a Google satellite. So this way we can able to change the size of it. So we can double click on it. And from here, I can able to change the symbol. Okay. So just right click, zoom to layer. And I will check this up. Okay. So now after adding this, what we can able to do, if you want to convert this in KML file format or any fine format that we can able to convert. So just select it, right click and export this save feature as. So we can save as a shape file format or we can convert as a keyhole markup language that is a KML. So we'll convert KML and then file name I need to give here and just i will select the folder i'll just go to video lecture and there is a folder utm excel i will add here as a utm kml okay i will just save here and another option is as it is so just click on the okay and it is successfully converted so now we can able to go to Google Earth Pro, just click on the file, open. And here we have save UTM KML, just click on the open. And this way we can able to convert our, this UTM Excel file into QJS. And from QJS, we have converted into KML file format. So this is, so it is very easy to convert this UTM file into your desired format. So if you are having any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.